So, what's up, everyone? This, god dang it, well, that's good timing, redneck retard. So, as you see, that's not the game, that was that was just more rednecks in their pickup trucks around my house. Uh, I'm gonna do Grand Turismo 2, frickin' get to the start menu! So, unfortunately, there won't be any music in this. Let me turn this down just a bit. There we go. Sorry about that. Let's see the little mic. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be kind of like a side side LP. Um, I'll tell you what. Yeah, so this is Gran Turismo 2. This game is probably one of the top five all time great racing games ever made. It did everything right. I cannot think of a single frickin' flaw in this game. At all. Yeah, the graphics are PlayStation 1 graphics. Okay, we'll get into the licenses a little bit, but... Let's go over this simulation mode. I'm gonna be doing sim mode. There's no music, because, you know, copyright crap, what so, what have you, what so forth. Um... So, if you need music, you know, you may have to turn it on your own. So let's go over this menu here. This is the main part of the city that we go shopping for cars and go racing in. You can go to a car wash, which is about pointless. Uh, you go to a wheel shop, which has got some cool stuff. Uh, you can go machine test, where you can tune up your car and just kind of do little time trials and such. You go race, our garage, and we have four other subsections of the city to go shopping in. So we're starting to north work our way around to the left. So in the North City, we have the European makes from Britain and Germany. Aston Martin, Audi, Volkswagen, Lister, TVR, Opel, Jaguar, Lotus, Mini and MG. I'll go over rough in a second. BMW, Mercedes, Benz. Rough is Porsche. You will not see the Porsche license in any racing game in the nine, through the 90s and the early 2000s except for one series need for speed because ea is a tool and decided to buy the entire porsche license for themselves so we get the rough modified cars which are essentially just porsche 911s with bigger engines in them and are tuned so we still get porsches they're just not called porsche all right next West City. Here we have French and Italian cars. We have Citroen, Renault, Alfa Romeo, Venturi, Lancia, Fiat, and Peugeot. Lancia has got cool stuff. There's the Stratos. Uh -huh. There's the S4 Delta Integrale. Huh. That's their only special car? Why don't they have the Stratos as a special car? Where's the Stratos? There's, there's, there's no, what? Oh, that's right, you have to win the strat. I was always wondering about it, like, there's the car that's on the front is not there. What kind of junk does Renault have? This is back when Renault was garbage. A Renault Espace. They have a minivan. For, oh, forget that. that oh, just go away, Renault. God, everything you make is freaking junk. South City is the U.S. We got Dodge, Shelby, Ford, Vector, Chevrolet, Acura, and Plymouth. Uh, basically, Plymouth and Dodge are the same thing. Acura is just Honda with different skins, but you do get the very awesome NSX series of cars, which are very cool, very good cars. Not the most powerful things, but good cars nonetheless. Vector, this is my freaking dream car. Not this one. Okay, that's the M12. Sorry if I'm going a little faster with these menus. I'm trying to get through this quick so I can get on the licenses. This is my dream car. That right there. The Vector Weiger W8 Twin Turbo. That was made, I think, in the 80s? I'll go over all this stuff later. It was made in, like, the late 80s. Yeah, it doesn't say. But, yeah, this is a 1980s car, and it rivals... A lot of stuff made today. Like, that thing is freaking balls to the wall insane. So, 
but this was actually new for this game was uh, Vector, Ford, Shelby, Plymouth, and Acura are all new additions from Gran Turismo 1, which had Chevy and Dodge. It's so, like the best American car in that game was the Dodge Viper. East City, we got all the Japanese makes. We got Toyota, Toyota, Mitsubishi, Daihatsu, Tammy Cara, Mazda, Nissan, Subaru, Honda, Suzuki. I know Hyundai. So there's no Korean makes in this. I'm not driving any Toyotas, but this is also where we go to get our first cars, which are used cars. Now, there is a car in this game that I actually did own. We will be buying it, and I will leave it stock because I want to drive it the way I drove the car, actually. Uh, but we'll get our first car out here in this Japanese market of pain. But I like Mazdas, so Mazdas my go-to make. All right, let's rip off this band-aid. The first couple videos will probably be, hopefully not the first couple, but it's going to be license tests. We got to do them. Oh, no, no, I got that. Everything's all set. I've already got all my buttons and everything set up. Yep, good main launch working. So, license tests. You have to do them to get all the, uh, uh, what is it, to get, to get access to all the races. Now once you complete all the license tests, you then get uh, access to the super license. I may do that off camera because it's a bunch of time trials and they're very picky time trials. Uh, but, you, but for every grade of uh, trophy you get in that, you unlock a car. So I'll at least try to get the bronze done on that. Come on. Oh, there we go. Whew. Did I get it? I got it. I don't care what prize I get on these. As long as I get bronze, I'm moving on. If you get gold in any of these... Uh, what do I want to put? Space. I'm going to do my real name. This is my real name for all this stuff. Oops. Dang it. No! Go over there. The real Spetsnats. That's my real account name. I just couldn't get it for. Oop. B2. Start. We get a little bit faster car. Whatever. What God's name is this thing? A Fiat? Sounds good. Still ain't as fast as the car I own now. But yeah, I, I, I've probably spent more time in this racing game than all my other racing games I've ever played combined. Stop! Holy crap, I almost got gold on that. <laughs> well, not almost, but pretty close. I mean, yeah, I got silver on it. If I stopped a little bit sooner, I would have got it. Part three, now we're giving us a Skyline GTR with 323 horsepower and all-wheel drive. Mm. I will be reading the descriptions of all the cars I get and everything, and we'll go over all that stuff. Any tuning and everything I do on my cars, I will do off-camera. I'm not going to make you guys sit there and watch me tune on cars all day. But hey, if that's what you want to watch, I'm all for it because there's a couple cars I'm going to tune up that I remember I had. I can get to where they rival the, uh, even the Bugatti Veyron. No! I did it! Huh? I thought I was going to overshoot and fail. <laughs> Jeez! Woo! Get that one close. I don't want to redo these things ever. Okay, acceleration basics. Nissan March? What the heck is a Nissan March? get to do the whole turning around thing. I do have analog control, but it's very finicky in this game. Hey, go oh, I should have counter-steered. This is a front-wheel drive car. I can tell because I have the rumble feature on, and it's rumbling like crazy. Not because I'm on the rumble strip. 
but because it's front wheel drive. Oh, if I hadn't done that one counter steer, I would probably would have got gold on that thing. Alright, next one, same thing with the Subaru WRX Rally Car. All wheel drive, tons of horsepower. That means I'm gonna have a four wheel drift on this thing. I'm gonna be careful. And use up on the throttle. Ease on the throttle. A little, a little less throttle, a little more. Oh, never mind. Can we do two laps? Screw you, game. Come on! I got the wheel cranked all the way to the right. Come on, let's go! Oh, look at it! 0.029 from a gold! Screw you, game! <laughs> I finally got that thing set up perfect where I had the whole acceleration and everything, and then it's like, oh, no, you can do it right. Oh, the Mazda Demio. Anybody that's played Gran Turismo 1, <laughs> you know this car all too well from winning it in the Sunday Cup every time to sell off. This car is fun to drive, though. It's kind of like a Mazda Protégé hatchback. It's a fun little car. I don't exactly follow the racing line to the letter. But I will say this, this is my real hobby, is playing racing games. If I lose a race, it's because I completely blew it in this game, or I didn't take the right car into the right race. Uh, I'm gonna mainly drive a lot of stock cars in this, I think. Well, it's a rolling start, didn't tell me. This, was this Acura or some garbage? Yeah, this was like the first like racing series that actually trying to teach people how to drive a freaking racing car. You know, these license tests weren't here to just say, hey, you gotta jump through these hoops so you can do your thing. It's, no, you need to cut your teeth so you know what you're freaking doing before you get out here in these sim cars. This is like the first great racing sim. We'll make a pretty good time. Oh god, there's gonna be another rolling start. I'm holding up just in case. Yep. Dang car again. I want this Integra. Yeah, if you get all four wheels out in the dirt and the grass, it says, Oh, you failed! I'm like, No, if I hit the wall, I failed. I like my race line better. Yeah, whatever, bro. I don't care. Big whoop, wanna fight about it? Oh, a chicane. And right for the dumb American audience, it's the best curve. Oh, a Mercury Cougar. I've driven a Mercury, my family owned a Mercury once. And I own a car similar to this very car, and I will get into that when I actually buy this thing. But I have stories of cars that I've owned and driven and all that. Like I said, one of them I actually owned in this game. One of them's pretty close, but that's one of them. That's one of them. And it's not a bad car that's in this game. So, I got some stories with that car. Whoa! They did it. Rolling start with a freaking cougar. This does kind of drive like a car I own. Rear end kicks out. Which is cool. Sounds a whole lot better than my car, dude. But that's because it's a V6 to one It was a four cylinder. But we'll talk about that. We'll get that B license complete. Didn't take long at all. You got your license. I don't care. Get off there. Uh, let's save it. Might as well. Slot 1. Overwrite. I haven't played anything. The only reason why that file is there is because I saved my settings. I love the save feature in this. It's just tick, 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 tick. I think it's faster as it goes. 
It does take a while, though, but I will save. I'm not going to save after, like, every freaking race, but after every one of these licenses. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go get our A license. Let's see how many of these we can do in one video. This will be awesome. I get this done in, like, two or three videos. The international licenses are going to take a little bit. Let's go to A. High speed braking. I've, I've already done that. We got a Skyline GTR. I am glad that they let us use like some. No, oh, we're going. We're going fast. Oh, power! So on this one, you want to break at about here. Oh, we're doing enough. Please, please. No, oh, I failed. Son of a. Okay, get, get. Yes, I know. There's no retry. That's not a record. I failed. It's a new record. You're a total failure. This car is fast. This game does have a pretty good sense of speed about it, even though it is only running at 30 frames a second. Okay. Now. Perfect. Booyah. You rolled it over. I was completely stopped. What? You saw that? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna kill this freaking game! I hate these freaking license tests! God damn it! Whoa! Why did you move to the left? Why would you do that? I need to be going straight. Okay, that's good. That's good right there. Hey. Whoa, car. Whoa, car. There! Good freaking lord. God, jeez. It's completely stopped. And it's just like, no, nope, no, nope, you're not stopped. No. Okay, you failed again. Cornering and breaking. Hmm. Oh, these are rolling starts. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, there's a corner up here. No racing line. Oh, I gotta stop. That worked. I'll take it. Yeah, I did it on first try. That's kinda cool looking. Sounds good though, god. Oh, there's a, what was that, a Subaru Legacy? Oh yeah, those do. And those are accurate. Integra. Sliggity slide, power off the corner, power! Now, do I need to stop in this thing or keep going? Keep going. I got silver. I'm getting better. I have not played this game in a long, long time, but my racing stuff never gets old. I just got kind of bored with racing games after a while. The only game that was actually any good. Our Codemasters racing games anymore. I mean, even Grand Theft Auto 5 wasn't that good, which I got it when it first came out. It was awful. Like, there was no condor. Like, hey, we got NASCAR in it. And I was like, cool, NASCAR. It's just a tutorial. I was like, where's, where are the cup races? Where's the. all the other fancy schmancy crap that used to be in it? There was it. But one good thing about 5 was that it had my dad's old 1971 Mustang Mach 1 and it was a premium vehicle and it had everything it even had it in its original color that he had that he originally got it with oh okay I saved that one <laughs> uh, but yeah I drove it on there and I got to drive that car once oh that thing was, that thing was gorgeous it was solid black. You couldn't drive it anywhere without like people crawling all over it and talking to you about it and all this other crap. I'm just like, yeah, I love this car. I wanted to buy it off him at one point, but he didn't want to sell it to me. And I didn't care how much was wrong with it. I had a few things wrong with it. Nothing serious though. It just needs some work. It's just going to need constant 
attention, but I was willing to put forth the effort. But he didn't want to sell it to me, so... I think he sold for like $6,000 and we got rid of it, and the paint job was perfect. There's nothing wrong with the engine. It just needed a new carburetor. That's <laughs> it. He didn't want to keep it, so... He's got a pretty cool car he just bought here recently, you know. It's a 93 or something Mercury Capri from Australia. It's pretty cool. I saw it and I looked at him and I said, Can you, I'll trade you my car I got now for him. And he likes my car, but he's like, nah, I'm good with this. It's a convertible and everything. It's like a Ford Miata. Whoa! Whoa! Game! Hey! I drove perfect and you hit the wall. What the freak? God dang. Man, we're burning this up. Oh, not this car. Uh, this freaking Supras don't handle for junk. Look at this thing. It's got a spoiler that does nothing. Who designed this piece of crap? Look, it's tight. Tight. Very tight handling. And snappy loose. I'm sorry, this is one of the worst freaking cars ever made. I hope you're Fast and the Furious, it was so fast. I don't care what it does in Fast and Furious, what tuning you do on it. The car's a piece of junk. If it's not good out of the factory, it's not going to be good when you put money into it. Because the car that is good, that you put the same amount of money into, is going to be still that much better. So, that's my theory on aftermarket crap. Yeah, I am not a fan of Fast and the Furious. At all. Those moves are terrible. Is that all you got, game? Seriously? Like, that's it? A little freaking baby chicane? I mean, yeah, I didn't take it perfect, but... I don't know what's coming up around the next corner. I haven't driven the tracks enough, so I'm kind of just, like, winging it, and I'm talking about crap, and I'm just doing this on... idle. Oh, not this piece of crap! A lot of break, a lot of break. Baby it in. Baby the throttle. Baby the throttle. Go, 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 go. Could have been a little harder on the throttle, but I just, I'm not taking a chance. I hate that car. Ooh, I hate that car. Ooh. Yeah, another one. You're saving. Haha. -ha. Two down, three to go. We're only in the first video. <laughs> so I do have to give a shout out to Bobo the Vulture. He started doing this, and I told him, I said, I'm going to LP that freaking game, and it got me off my freaking butt to do it, and I am going to have a ton of fun with this. So, thank you, Bobo. I can't wait to really jump into the meat and potatoes of this game. So let's go to the next license. We're going to get all these knocked out of the way. Let's get them frickin' done. Alright, what do we got? Mazda Miata. Oh, I love the Miata. I did own one of these, but I own a newer one that's what's in the game. These are go-karts that are road legal. This is such a fun frickin' car. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, saved it! Let's go. These cars accelerate like crazy. They are so much fun. Oh, I still failed! Ah, piss off, game! Fail! It's like announcing it like a fanfare. Like, fail! Stupid game. Ugh. I'll tell you, at least me emulating this game. Well, it's not even being emulated. It's just being played off of a PlayStation disc. It's just on my computer so I can record it. Ah! Okay, that was not bad. Should get this. Oh yeah. Uh, load times are a little bit better. They're a little bit better. But I am using a PlayStation disc on this. Uh, and he sounds so oh, Freaking J-turn. J-turn. Oh, this gradual entrance turn. I hate these turns more than anything. Not bad, not bad. Got a silver. I'll take that. I 
can see where I could have cut about a half second off of that or more. I got used to how it maneuvered around a better. Camaro Z28 from 97. What a load of garbage. Oh gosh. My best friend had one of these. Well, I think it was maybe a little bit older than this. It wasn't a Z28, but God, it was a piece of crap. He, did, he hated it so much he debated on when he traded it in for a Mustang of keeping it just to go out back and take a sledgehammer to it when he got frustrated things. <laughs> oh, he hated this car. <laughs> Ugh. I don't like the Camaro. It handles like garbage. And a Z28 is the handling package Camaro. Now get rid of me this, uh, Chevy fans, please. So, if the Z28 is the handling package Camaro, and the SS is the high horsepower Camaro, but it doesn't have the handling on it, but costs more, why don't they just make a Z28 SS that has the better suspension and the better engine in it? And just make it the same car. You know, I'd buy that. So, how dumb is that when it's like the better Mustangs get to keep incorporating all aspects into it? Oh, oh, oh! Ooh, I'm better hanging on to that. That car got squirrely. God, I hate the freaking car! This game is. Oh my god, stop making me use the freaking Supra. Oh, it's just freaking thing. Don't hit, the, don't hit the rumble strip. This is the trick here. Oh! God damn! God dang rumble strip. Okay, load it. Okay, tap of the brakes. Looks like we're tapping the brakes again. Full power! Go to the next corner, tap of the brakes. Let's slide in, settle, get some secure the beans. We're good. Aha! I got past it. I don't care. It's a super challenge. It's stupid. The car is crap. Okay, the Celica's not bad. The Celica's not a bad car. It's weird because that's what the... Oh, this is the car that went out. Oh, man. I don't like the Celica. It looks stupid. Oh! Squirrely on me now. I somehow remember every corner of every racetrack, so when they put these challenges on a track, I'm like, <laughs> I know where this is. But yeah, I have played basically every racing game since pole position on the Atari 2600 up to... I think... Grid? No. Formula One 2011. Or was it 2012? I don't remember. All I know is that game made me retire. I can't drive a Formula One car. It's completely... It, you, you drive on a razor's edge with those. But anyways, so I've played every arcade racing game. I've played every sim. And I like a good arc. You know, when an arcade racer's fun, it's a lot of fun. Uh, where am I going? Oh, I'm at Rome. Doing. This is Alpha Romeo. It's gonna fall apart in the next corner. It's gonna fall apart. Will it make it around this this section of track? It just has to make it around a section of track. I love Alpha Romeos. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> I just know they have a stigma about them of being just complete pieces of crap. They're as good as a cock could be. Briefly. <laughs> All right. All right, let's finish up this. Oh, the Corvette Grand Sport. These are good cars. 
Oh, I remember. I was watching Bobo's play through this. He has so much trouble with this. I play Seattle Circuit so much. I know this track of the back of my hand. Yeah, Corvette, baby. I do like a Corvette. And I like these styles of Corvette with the flip up hills. Ha! Yeah, I'm gonna let Bobo the Vulture take a look at this video. I'm gonna message him like, hey, dude, I got my, uh, Creators of 2 uh, LP going. Check it out. <laughs> this is awesome. Arr! Three done in one video. Take that! Ha ha! Alright. Yes! Let's do this. Alright, I'll go ahead and cut the video now while I was doing this.